Yeah, maybe you need a dinner plan. Well, the next recipe is the perfect winter warmer meal for the whole family. There is a classic mayonnaise that brings out the traditional French in three levels of tanginess. The mild classic, the medium classic, the strong classic. Tangy, the way you love it. Made with love by Clover. Oh, nothing beats a winter warmer recipe like Pup and Vos, made with love by one of the best award-winning Hashtag Mzanzi Foodies Chef Tumi. Tumi is here to show us how to put a spin on a classic with these mouth-watering Borovos and Pup Arancini, served with a classic mayo dip. I'm too smooth and creamy to be an Arancini. <laughs> Papancini. Oh, Papancini, it must be. It Surely must... it must be that. I'm just glad that for the first time in a long time, I'm not the only snack in the kitchen. Exactly, you know girl. What I mean. So, how's about No, but we you are this... still the snack. You are still the snack, girl. You, <laughs> can't, you can't have those shades and not be the of snack. Of course, man. I work with... um, this is funky, this is fun, it's delicious, and it's combining a lot of things that we love the mayo, the cheese, the pup, the vorse. These are all favourites. It's just a taste overload, and I mean, you can never say no to flavour. It's mm. all about making sure you've got all this flavour in bam, there. Bam, bam, bam of flavour. Okay, so, where do we begin? Let me start by making sure I cut up our voroso okay. into nice, beautiful slices, because we're creating arancini, and in this, it is, we're saying arancini, and I know people might say to us, but arancini is where you cook something in liquid. And yeah, da -da -da -da. yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, don't it, be technical. We this is just to give it a reference. This yes. is just so that people can understand it's Put, something inside, something else that's cooked again. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, if that's, to, as all Italian chefs roll in their graves. I'm sorry, but this is what we do. Yeah, this is South morning. Africa. This is how yeah, we do it exactly. in our country. Okay, so the whole idea is basically as long as you've rolled it into a cylinder, into a ball, a uh, little ball, and then fry it, it qualifies as an arancini Cine, to okay. us. <laughs> Papancini, that's Papancini. fine. That's why we changed the name. Exactly. We'll trademark that name. <laughs> so I'm going to start by just cutting up our vorse into those little pieces. But I think you can actually get started on the dip for us mm, because it's beautiful. not enough just to have the papancini. Yeah, oh no, you but, need you need that counterbalance. And this is again, it's all about flavor overload. Exactly. So what's going in? Yeah, first of all, um, we've gone for a level three strong tanginess, which I love in our Clover Classic, Chef Maynard's tangy mayonnaise. I'm all about the tang when it comes to mayonnaise. Don't play around with super creamy. I, you know, everyone can have their choice, yeah. but it's got to have tang. We want a bit of zing. Okay, so how much of this is going in here? I'm going to ask you to put in about three table, like, tablespoons, but like generous tablespoons. Okay. We, we're, going, we're going back because we want it to be the star and of the show. Yeah, and we've got quite a lot to go through. Quite a lot Lots to go of, through. I'm going to do. Yeah, so go, while you're doing that, you've added your Clover Classic mayonnaise. We're going with the number three. Okay. Um, like you said, you want that tang. And then that's some chili sauce that you're adding Ooh. into that baby over there. Obviously, the chili sauce would be, depend on, your, on you as a person. Some people How much heat, aren't yeah. too much on the heat. Some people do like the heat. So um, if you want to go easy on that, it's up to you. A little bit of tomato sauce for the sweetness. While you do that, I'm also compiling these babies. Some chili here. flakes. Can I put it all flakes. or just... However much chili you like, my G. I I'm think it's completely up then, to you. Uh, this? That's some more white wine vinegar that's white going in there vinegar. as well. Okay. Nice it's one. It's going to be quite a heady sauce. There's going to be a lot of aroma going on. You need that for the dip. You need it to make. You need to make sure that it, it's, it packs enough flavor because you've got the flavor in the papancini that we've got here. And if you might be wondering how I got to this beautiful little round effect here, is I took a little bit of our pup and I made sure to flatten it. I have the oil so that it doesn't stick to my hand. I have a little base of our cheese because, as you saw with the previous recipe, cheese always has to be on the outside so it melts nicely. Yeah. And then we go in with our little vorce. That's why you've got to have manageable sizes of, of vorce. And I see we haven't kind of overcooked this Correct. guy because it is going to get a little bit more heat. Correct. Um, so you want a little bit of pinkness in the middle there. Um, and just make it a man manageable size. I suppose if they get too big, it's going to be cumbersome to eat. <laughs> um, but, but I yeah. love how quick and easy that comes so together. Absolutely beautiful. And I think because you, you've obviously got quite a fatty cut of meat here, the burro is enriched with a lot of its natural mm -hmm. fat. So I think having a zingy sauce that's got exactly. a little bit of acidity, something to cut through, that's going to be perfect and counterbalance. And those different flavours on your tongue. We're talking mm. about salty, sweet, spicy, all in one dish. So that's the whole idea. Let's hit all those flavour palettes on your tongue. And I love it. And on a cold winter's night, it can feel like you're almost having a braai. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> you can even braai the burro balls outside in the cold if you want to, just to complete the deal. Absolutely beautiful, hitting all the right flavour notes, all the right texture notes and of course it's uh, just delicious comfort food at its best and I think you are guaranteed with the Clover Classic you obviously not only get a high quality product but also another opportunity 
to win and get this, not just anything, your share of 500,000 Rand in prizes, half a million. Oh, to so enter, you've got to buy any Clover Classic custard, any dairy snack, their fat spread or mayonnaise, any of the range, and then WhatsApp that till slip with your, obviously, of your purchase to 0749090000. You can find all the terms and conditions that do apply on clover.co.za. It's classic, it's timeless taste, and we love it. And if you want to get this recipe, just go over to expressoshow.com. And if you missed any of these steps, as easy as they were, let's take you through a quick blow by blow. Made with love by Clover.